Coverage, we turn to Brent Solomon, who is live at the state capitol. Brent. At issue tonight is the sudden change of position. First, an apology from the governor admitting he was in that racist photo and now a new explanation that he isn't in the photo at all. All of it leaving lawmakers uh, the, divided. Uh, the images were uh, you know, really vile and abhorrent and uh, it was really disturbing. After Governor Ralph Northam addressed the media Saturday, reporters caught up with Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. He's the man who would replace Northam should he step down. We need leaders and leadership that can unite us. Fairfax says he's always had a respectable relationship with the governor, but says the photo published on his college yearbook page, quote, suggests a comfort with Virginia's darker history. The sooner um, the governor decides to re resign, the, the sooner the Commonwealth can begin the process of the healing. It's why many have called on the governor to resign, even after Saturday's update from Northam, where he made an about face, now saying he is not pictured in that racist photo. Delegate Lamont Bagby says all of this is placing a dark cloud over the state capitol right during the middle of the busy General Assembly session. If I wasn't with you right now, I would be re reviewing bills and talking to individuals trying to get bills uh, across uh, the finish line. Uh, but right now we are distracted uh, with this. Resign! Resign! As protesters gathered outside of the governor's mansion Saturday, there was one local lawmaker there with a different perspective. Uh, I do not support the position that he has to resign. James Holland serves on the Board of Supervisors for Chesterfield County. It's wrong, it's incorrect, it's inappropriate. He's asked for forgiveness. He deserves an opportunity to be forgiven, just like every other human being on this planet, regardless of the situation. Today, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney stood by his position, calling on the governor to resign. He says today's update only, quote, adds more confusion, anger, and disbelief. On your side at the state capitol in Richmond, we're live. Brent Solomon, NBC 12.